Good morning, everybody. Today we shall begin with chapter number nine of our EVS textbook for class three. And the topic for the day is creepy crawlies. I'm very scared of creepy crawlies. Are you scared of creepy crawlies? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, look at the screen and you'll know what I mean. Which insects can crawl and fly? Can flies make us ill? Did you say yes? Oh. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about insects, worms, reptiles, useful insects, worms, and spiders. So these are the creepy crawlies. Our earth is full of tiny creatures. Over four-fifths of all the animals we know are creepy crawlies. They include insects, spiders, earthworms, scorpions, and snails. They are found on the ground, in the water, on the plants, and in the air. They are generally small in size. Let us now begin talking about insects. Insects are very small creatures that are commonly found around us. Most insects have six legs and two pairs of wings. Their body is divided into three parts, the head, the thorax and the abdomen. They do not have backbone and their bodies have hard covers. They feel and smell with their feelers called antennae on your on their heads so i am now going to take you to the textbook picture which labels parts of insects so here you can see the picture the body part of insects you can see the head thorax and the abdomen you can see that then there are two pairs of wings you have the legs you have the antenna which is also called feeler and parts of the mouth. Insects vary in sizes and shapes. Some insects like flies have two wings. Some like dragonflies, bees and beetles have four wings. Insects having wings can fly some insects do not have wings, so they crawl on the ground like ants and termites. Insects that live in water swim with their legs. Some insects like grasshoppers, crickets, locusts, stick insects, etc. jump around. Let me now show you um, pictures of the insects that I am talking about. Here you can see. Beetle, housefly, grasshopper, cricket, butterfly, and moth. Flying insects, butterflies, are some of the most beautiful of all insects with bright colors. Most live only for a week or so. Moths look like butterflies. They have thread-like antennae. They fly at dusk or at night. By day, they rest on tree trunks, trunks and leaf litter, where their dull color makes it difficult for to spot them. Let us now talk about worms. As you can see on the screen, worms are of different. Worms are different from insects. They are long, wriggling, tube-like animals. They have a segmented body. They also do not have bones. Worms cannot. Fly. They move by contracting and expanding their bodies. You know, AC. On their body, there are tiny hair like bristles which help them to grip the surface and help them to move along. Centipedes and millipedes have many, many legs. They use their legs to move about. Although the centipede has fewer legs than the millipede, it moves much faster than the millipede so here you can see 
earthworm, the farmer's friend. You can see millipede with a million legs and the centipede with a hundred legs. The slimy creature with a shell on its back is a snail. It curls up into this hard shell, which is also its home. The shell protects it from its enemies. They generally stay in damp places such as under the leaves and stones. They slide on their slimy bellies. So that is the snail for you, often regarded as a very, very slow and lazy animal. Reptiles. Lizards, garden lizards, chameleons and snakes belong to a separate family of animals called reptiles. A chameleon changes its color according to the color of its surroundings. A snake moves by curving and straightening its body. A lizard's body remains close to the ground as it crawls. The household lizard has special suction pads on its feet which enable it to crawl up on the walls. So there are many things in this paragraph which are worth repeating. Uh, lizards, garden lizards, chameleons and snakes are together. They belong to a family of animals which are called reptiles. Here you can see a chameleon. Uh, a chameleon keeps on changing its color according to the color of its surroundings. Isko hum kete hai camouflage. ये अपना कलर बार बार इसलिए बदलती है ताकि लोग किसी को पता ना चले कि कैमेलियन वहां है और उसका प्रे उसको खा न ले पत्ते के ऊपर ग्रीन कलर की हो जाएगी टहनी के ऊपर ब्राउन कलर की हो जाएगी पानी में ब्लू कलर की हो जाएगी दिस इज हाउ कैमेलियन चेंजेस इट्स कलर ओके यू नो अबाउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्नेक इज टू कर्व एंड स्ट्रेट इट सेल्फ लिजर्ट बॉडी रिमेन्स क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड लिजर्ट के हैंड्स में स्पेशल सक्शन पैड्स होते हैं तो वो जब वॉल पे चढ़ती है तो वैक्यूम बन जाती है और वो वॉल को ग्रिप कर लेती है इसलिए कभी भी लिजर्ट ऊपर भी हो तो कभी नीचे गिरेगी नहीं लेट एस नाउ टॉक अबाउट यूजफुल इंसेक्ट्स एंड रेप्टाइल्स इंसेक्ट्स वर्म्स एंड रेप्टाइल्स आर यूजफुल टू अस इन मेनी वेज हनी बी इज गिव अस हनी Some silkworms give us silk, which are used to make clothes. Earthworms are farmers' friends because they make the soil more fertile. Earthworms क्या करते हैं? Soil में उसके अंदर जाते हैं, बाहर जाते हैं, अंदर जाते हैं, बाहर जाते हैं. और ये जो action होता है, इससे soil का कि oxygen और soil के minerals अच्छी तरह से mix हो जाते हैं, और soil बहुत ज़्यादा fertile बन जाती है. That is why earthworms are known as farmers' friends. Lizards eat up. Mosquitoes and flies and help in preventing the diseases caused by them. Okay, harmful insects, worms, and reptiles. Some insects, worms, and reptiles are harmful for us in many ways. Bees and wasps bite human beings. Their bite is very painful, but they do not spread any diseases. Flies taste things with their feet. They walk over all kinds of rotting foods and collecting germs on their feet. They then settle on our fresh food and spread germs everywhere. These germs spread diseases. So flies can be very, very bad when it comes to spreading diseases. The common house fly is the most dangerous animal in the world to people that you always see around you. Okay. Now bees generally do not sting, so calling them harmful is actually a negative thing. The female workers will do so only for their defense. So if you leave the bees alone, they will never, as a rule, they will never sting you. A bee sting can be very painful for animals and humans, but it is deadly for the bee. So when a bee stings you, there is no chance that it will remain alive. It will definitely die because it will die after losing its sting. Cockroaches also spread diseases in the same way as the flies do. Fleas, bugs, and lice bite men and other animals and feed on their blood. Their bite often makes us feel very itchy. They spread many kinds of diseases through their bites. 
increase in dirt and pollution spreads harmful insects and diseases so to so look at the honey bee the silk worm the flea the bed bug and the louse where these creepy crawlies hide themselves these creepy crawlies hide themselves in many different ways to protect themselves and to take rest and bees and wasps will always live in large groups and in special nests termites and earthworms hide themselves in the soil house flies mosquitoes etc quickly fly leap or scamper away from danger cockroaches come out in the dark during the day they hide in drains gutters and dark moist places ants crawl fast and hide in cracks and holes in the houses and open places ladybird beetles are red or yellow with black spots their bright colors are a warning to birds that ladybirds taste bad and birds usually leave them alone other than hiding themselves insects protect themselves in different ways caterpillars and grasshoppers are green they blend with the green leaves on which they live so they cannot be spotted easily we now come to the last part of our uh, chapter which is spiders spiders are neither insects nor worms they are also not reptiles spiders belong to a special group called arachnids spiders have eight legs their body is divided into two parts and there are tiny holes on the back of a spider's body spiders spin webs to catch flying insects the web is made up of special type of silk The silk is a liquid that becomes a thin strong thread when it comes out of tiny holes at the back end of the spider. The spider waltzes in or near the web an insect flies into the web and gets caught in the strands and struggles. The spider hurries to trap the insect and wraps it with more silk so that it cannot move. Then it carries the insect back to the center of the web and eats it up. Do you know why spiders are called arachnids? Once upon a time in Greece, a young girl called Arachne won a weaving contest with the goddess Athena. At this, the angry Athene turned Arachne into a spider. This is why spiders are called arachnids. That was a Greek mythological story for you. Let us quickly recall the chapter. Our earth is full of tiny creatures. We are calling them creepy crawlies. insects are animals with six legs their body is divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen worms have bodies like long tubes they have segmented body there are some reptiles like lizards green lizards chameleons and snakes insects worms and reptiles are useful as well as harmful to us in so many ways spiders belong to the arachnids group so with this i hope that you have understood everything that there is in this chapter wishing you a great day ahead unless until we meet the next time for the next chapter thank you and goodbye